Welcome back to Malaysia and yeah, I am about to check out of the airport hotel in which I checked in in the previous episode and after that we are trying to find some breakfast here at the airport before we will head to Kuala Lumpur. I'm very excited for that and I also have to tell you a story that happened here last night. How was your stay? Very nice. Was good? The room was very nice, yes. Oh, no. oh, nasi lemak with chicken rendang, that sounds good, mm -hmm. but too much for now. Yes, right. uh, I would like a club sandwich, please. All right, so just going to eat a club sandwich, not very Malaysian, but uh, maybe when we arrived in Kuala Lumpur, we're going to hit the streets for the first time to get a proper dish from Malaysia. Thank you very much. What is this? Ah, uh, sugar syrup. Ah, sugar syrup. Okay. Okay, thank you. Terima kasih. And yeah, while I'm waiting for the food, let me tell you the story that happened here last night. Um, it was very close to be a very sad start into my uh, Malaysian journey here. Um, you remember in the previous episode, um, I checked in the hotel here and then I finished the video inside the hotel room. Um, after that, I basically went to bed. It was already like 1, 1 1.30 a.m. And while I was already falling asleep, I had a thought and I thought, where is my camera bag? Like I always have a small bag with me uh, in which is my drone and some camera equipment, some SD cards. And that bag was gone. I was looking all around the room and I couldn't find the bag. And I immediately knew oh, I must have forgotten it somewhere. So I actually checked the footage on my camera that I filmed earlier and I saw that um, you remember I took a taxi from the other terminal to this terminal to get to my hotel and I could see in the video that I still had the camera back with me when I entered the taxi but I didn't have the camera back with me anymore when I left the taxi and checked into the hotel here. So I knew damn I forgot the camera back in the taxi. So I uh, put on my clothes again, I went out, it was yeah, in the middle of the night here, I tried to find somebody working for a taxi company and the airport here is very very quiet in the night, let me tell you that it was very hard to even find someone here at the airport and then I went to the departure hall which is another floor to the information desk. They reached the company and they said oh we don't know, we haven't found anything, no driver told us about anything. And then I made the decision, okay, I will take a taxi back to the other terminal, see if I can find the company, maybe even find the, the same driver. Luckily, at the other terminal, I found somebody working for the same company. Then I actually showed him the video on my camera from the taxi ride earlier. I asked him, hey, do you know this guy? He said, yeah, yeah, I know this guy. I can call him. Give me a minute. I had these thoughts. Oh, first of all, uh, he must be an honest taxi driver and really give me back the camera back instead of just taking it. But I was actually pretty sure that he was an honest guy. That was my impression from him. But I was actually more worried about um, because he probably had other customers after me as well. And the camera bag was next to me in the bag. So we reached the guy and uh, he said, luckily he was still around the airport. So he said, okay, I can come. I will be there in, uh, in a few minutes. And when he arrived, I actually started filming again. So I will show you the clip now. Is my bag still there? Your bag, your bag. Small, uh, small bag, yes. black color, right? It's here. Yeah. Oh. Why? <laughs> I don't know because the one the Masali come inside my car to give the bag. Uh, you your uh, can, can I see? Uh, oh, my bag is still here. Yeah. Oh, for two hours now I tried to find you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Luckily, I still have my camera bag with a lot of uh, important stuff inside. Whew, that was close. And um, yeah, I finally was back in bed at like 4.30 a.m. So I am pretty tired now. But yeah, that was my story of uh, arriving here in Malaysia in the middle of the night. Oh, thank you very much. So, this is actually a pretty sad meal for being my first meal back in Malaysia. A club sandwich when you have so much delicious Malaysian food around here. But uh, yeah, I'm still at the airport. So excuse me for that. More proper Malaysian food will come later in this video or in the next videos. So let's check that out actually. It looks actually pretty cool. Actually, I'm a big fan of club sandwiches. The coffee is also very delicious. So let me finish this and then we go on to the next mission, which is finally finding a SIM card before we get to KL. All right, and I just 
Thank you. And I just decided uh, my accommodation will stay in a nice apartment. So we're going to check that out later. And I almost forgot that I need to do another COVID test today. Uh, when you arrive here as a tourist currently, you are supposed to do another rapid COVID test within 24 hours of arrival. So I think we can also do that at the airport. So we do have a few missions now. Hello. I need to do this test after arrival. Ah, uh, yes. The, the rapid test. Ah, uh, yeah. I can do that here? Yeah, okay. How much yeah. is it? Uh, 260. 260? Yeah. Oh, I read it's like 100. Oh, no uh, PCR test, just uh, the, the rapid test. Yeah, uh, because airport is, is a bit expensive. Uh, you can do outside uh, because uh, it's 260 here. Yeah. You can do it anywhere. So I will head to Kuala Lumpur first now and then do the test at a hospital later there. So what's the best place at an airport to find SIM cards? The arrival hall. Let's see. Hello, I'm looking uh, for a SIM card. Yeah. SIM card, yeah. Over from, there? Uh, oh. Blue, blue gunny. Oh, okay, thank you. Hello. I'm looking for a SIM card. Do you have a package with with, uh, with how many data is it? Uh, for one month, unlimited data. And unlimited data. Yes. So 50 ringgit for unlimited data. I think that's a good deal. All right, SIM card secured. And I already booked a Grab taxi, which will arrive in like 15 minutes. So we have a little bit of waiting time here. And then yeah, it should be like an hour drive to uh, Kuala Lumpur. I'm staying quite in the city center actually and I'm very excited for the apartment and to go back to KL. In case you don't know I spent actually three months in Kuala Lumpur in 2020 and that was during the first uh, COVID lockdown so the city was like a ghost town it was crazy to see a big city like like this that empty so I never really saw Kuala Lumpur actually in normal times when it's busy when there's no lockdown so that's why I'm very excited to see it. All right, change of plans. Uh, two draft drivers uh, cancelled. So I just asked at the airport taxi counter here, how much is it to uh, KL? And it's just 20 ringgit more than the grab price. Hello, yes. are you taxi drivers? Yes. I have a ticket. The area is Bukit Binteng. But yeah, the airport taxi now is 85 ringgit instead of 65 for the grab. So I think that's totally okay. And this time I will be really careful not to forget this one. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. So, have all my bags with me? <laughs> all right, let's see. Hello, is there a reception here? No. Okay, okay, thank you. It's not a hotel here, it's a condo apartment, I think. And yeah, I booked like an Airbnb here. Uh, I booked on booking.com. Can I see the confirmation? Yeah. All right, check-in completed. We have 39 floors here. That is uh, incredible. Thank you. All right, welcome to my apartment for probably the next weeks. I booked here only for two nights now. That's what I usually do. Two nights to uh, check out the place if I like it. And if I do, I will extend it. All right, all right. Yeah, I like that it's a bright room, a lot of space here. I like the color designs here, a desk, which is always nice for me. I have a lot of videos to edit in the next days. And then the view here. Oh, there's a football field down there. Some skyscrapers. Oh, I like it. And I have uh, two beds, but I only need one. And the bathroom looks like this. Sink, toilet, of course. Mirror and wow, the shower is amazing, guys. Look at this rainfall shower. I like the little corner here. Oh, the shower head is so high that I can't even reach it. And I'm 1 meter 90 tall. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, there's also a pool on top, a rooftop pool, as well as a gym, which I will use in the next days. I am in desperate need of doing some sport, sport activities, missing that. The price here is um, 120 ringgit, I think I'm paying here now per day. All right, let's check out my new neighborhood. And uh, I just found out on Google Maps that there is a hospital basically just at the end of the road. 
And yeah, I think I can do the COVID test there. And yeah, if you arrive here as a tourist, you have to do a COVID test within 24 hours after arrival. But just this uh, rapid test, not a PCR test. Ah, I am happy to be back here. Awesome feeling, I have to tell you that. And also, thank you guys. I got so many messages on Instagram from you guys welcoming me back here in Malaysia. Terima kasih, thank you very much. Uh, this is the hospital, but the entrance is closed. Oh, I think this is the back side. I probably have to walk all around to enter through the front gate. Ah, and funny to see this tower here now. Uh, I remember in 2020, uh, the building of this tower wasn't nearly as completed as it is now. And if I remember correctly, this is going to be the highest tower in Malaysia. Um, maybe I can enter the hospital here. I want to go to the hospital. You cannot go in. Hospital oh, closed. Hospital cannot you go must here? use that line. Over the there? Stage. Around? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, so. okay. okay, thank you. Okay, Terima kasih. Thank you. The hospital looks kind of deserted. Everything is closed. It looks rather old. Hello. Is the hospital open? Oh. I want to make a COVID test. Oh, next building. Next building? Yeah, next building. Go here? No, no, no. Here? here? Yeah. Ah, okay, thank you. Ah, this looks more like a proper hospital that is open and in use. All right, seems to be a more complicated mission than I thought. Now I wish I made the test at the airport, although it was way more expensive. So this hospital just told me they can't do a rapid test here and I called another hospital and they also said they can't do a rapid test but I was told you can do this rapid uh, COVID test at any medical uh, treatment center, any hospital. So I'm running out of uh, ideas now. That's gonna be more complicated than I thought and it's already uh, 6.30. All right, after some Googling, I found a place nearby that is offering these tests and I order with a grab and this is the grab. Hello. Hello. All right. Clinic. I think this is not a hospital, it's more like a doctor maybe. Hopefully I can do the test here. Please press the bell. Oh. Hello. I need to do a COVID test after arrival. I arrived yesterday. Yeah, okay. The, you want the, to do the RT antigen one or the, the RT rapid test? The test uh, rapid test? Yeah. The, uh, RT, the RT antigen one. Yeah, yeah. I can do here? Oh, perfect. This is the third place that I asked. Uh -huh. And you are the first one to say okay. Why? <laughs> oh, I was at two other hospitals. Oh, I see. And they say uh, no, we cannot do it. Yeah, we can do it. No problem. Can I have your passport? Yes. How much is it here? 35 ringgit. 35 ringgit? Yes. Perfect. At the airport, they said 260. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, no. Or 250, I don't remember exactly, but uh, over 200. Oh, that was easy here. Should have come to this place right away. And yeah, if you're looking for a place to do this test, I will leave a Google Maps link to this place in the description. I never done this test before. Why? Uh, only the PCR test before. It's the, the same one only, but we take the uh, nose sample from the sample from the oh, nose. Also in the nose. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. I thought it's maybe only in the mouth. So yeah, let's... that one is the liver one. This oh. one is the okay. antigen. Okay, just relax your nose. All right, then. <coughs> oh. oh. How you feel? I don't like this test. <laughs> Everyone don't like it. Oh yeah, but uh, we have to do it. <laughs> yeah, we have to do it. Okay, that's all we That's it already? Answer. Yes, that's it. Okay, so uh, I have to do nothing else now? Uh, yes, nothing else. Just wait 15 minutes for the result. And the I, I wait here? Out. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, then I will have a seat over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye -bye. Thank you. And um, yeah, they will update it into the uh, app later, so I don't have to do anything. And then the app will uh, show my new stated status as everything okay in case the test is negative, but I think it will. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye. bye bye. Definitely don't do it at the airport because they charge over 200 there. And here it was now 35 ringgit. And yeah, the test is negative and they will update it into the app. I feel relieved now. That was the hard part. Let's go to the fun part. Makan, makan, get some food. So I think this looks like a good place for my first meal back in Malaysia. I think this is a Mamak restaurant, Indian restaurant. I would like to eat some 
cheese naan, tandoori chicken, tea tarik, something like that. Do you have uh, naan? Yeah, naan cheese. Cheese naan? Yeah, naan cheese garlic. Uh, okay, can I have two or one garlic and one cheese? One garlic, cheese, one naan cheese garlic. No yes. Cheese. That's cheese, cheese. Naan cheese garlic one? Yes. Naan cheese one. And one just garlic, no cheese. Ah, okay. One with cheese and one without cheese. Okay. And uh, tandoori chicken? Yeah. One? Yes? Yes. Lovely. And uh, tea tarik? Tea tarik. And hot? Hot. Hot, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's a proper meal for welcoming me back here. Oh, this is the oven uh, for making the naan. Ah, the tandoori chicken is in there. So I think he makes the chicken first and after that the naan bread in uh, these naan ovens here. Well, I think it's called a tandoori oven, not a naan oven. <laughs> Alright, let me wash my hands actually. Because of course I'm going to eat with my hands here. So you need clean hands to do that. Where, where can I get a hat like you? I, I want to buy a hat like this. Where, where can I buy it? You, you sell the hat here? Can I, can I buy a hat? Yeah. Oh, these Malaysian hats uh, look really cool, right? You? I, I can, uh, you have a hat I can buy. I pay like 10, 10 ringgit, 15 ringgit. I want to buy. You will wait. I want to, to buy. Maybe if somebody of you knows where I can buy a hat like that, let me know in the comments. Ah, this is my naan bread. Going into the oven. Oh, looking forward to that. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, so, look at the food here. That looks absolutely delicious. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Your camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks good for the camera now. Yeah, it looks absolutely delicious here. Yeah. I'm from Germany. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Very much. So, yeah, look at the huge portion. Yeah, actually, I'm a little bit confused now that I got two of the, the garlic nuns here. Maybe there was a misunderstanding with ordering but that is absolutely no problem and yeah tea tarik mm. this is uh, kind of the taste of Malaysia for me in case you don't know tea tarik it's a hot milk tea or in this case it's hot uh, very similar to the Thai milk tea for example sweet milk tea very delicious and yeah then we have the, the garlic naan here two pieces the cheese naan some dipping sauce next to it and yeah the tandoori chicken with some uh, onions and some cucumber wow really looking forward to try this now and yeah by the way guys let me know in the comment section what videos would you like to see from Kuala Lumpur I'm going to stay a few weeks here in the city so let me know all your recommendations all your wishes in the comment section oh I like these fluffy thick naan breads uh, with some uh, I think this is like a minty uh, dip Mm. Wow. I didn't have a proper dish like this for yeah, it's quite, quite exactly one year, three months since I left Malaysia. Very delicious. Super sedam, as I used to say here. Very delicious. And yeah, these nice tandoori chicken pieces. I absolutely love the, the spices of the tandoori chicken. Also, you can dip it into the sauce here. Oh, I think there's a lot of cheese inside. Oh, look at this cheesy mess here. <laughs> this is awesome. Out of these three here, this is my favorite now. All right, I wasn't able to finish all the naan, so I get uh, some for takeaway. And we even have German Bundesliga on TV here. What could be better than that? Delicious meal, watching German football. Okay, I pay over there? Yeah. Yes, okay, thank you very much. Al Sarifa Food Corner? Yeah, Al Sarifa Food Corner. Okay. Al Sarifa Food Corner, good place. 13 ringgit and 80 cent. 15. That's okay. Thank you very much. Terimakasi. But yeah, that's it from my first day back in Malaysia. The next videos will be from Kuala Lumpur. So stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.